Today we're smoking a pork butt. So the pork butt's already on the smoker. My plan for this is an overnight hold in my oven at 170 degrees. My oven unfortunately doesn't go down to 150, um, but I think we'll be fine holding in the oven overnight. So that's gonna be the experiment today. Follow along, we'll see how this comes out. For this cook, I have a nine pound bone-in pork shoulder. Pork shoulder or pork butt, same thing. We got pretty lucky with this one. The marbling was pretty insane throughout the entire cut. I keep my trim pretty simple. I don't go crazy with it. I just take off some of the waxier fat throughout the exterior. And for the fat cap, I'm looking for about a quarter inch throughout the top. And I say the top because the fat cap is always going to be up for me. I always score my fat caps. People say that when the meat opens up, it allows more surface area for the smoke to hit the meat, allows the rub to penetrate deeper into the meat. Bottom line for me, I just like the way that it looks when it's done. For my pork butts, I usually do a yellow mustard binder, and I'll use whatever rub I feel like that day. Today I'm using Meat Church, the gospel. If you cook your pork butts fat cap up like me, just remember always slather and season the bottom first. Don't be shy with your seasoning and hit all sides. I have my Patriot pit set to 225 degrees and I'm going to place the pork butt on right in her sweet spot. Far away from the firebox to start, maximize the smoke penetration onto this meat. This video might jump around a little bit because I'm trying to do everything myself. I don't have my videographer with me today, my wife. So this is the first time I'm trying to use props in order to film myself, which feels very stupid. Um, but I did get a new lapel mic, uh, so my audio hopefully will be a little bit better on my videos now. Thank you for bearing with me through my first few videos as I learn this whole YouTube thing. Two hour check in here. I did add a water pan here. I usually, for the longer cooks, just throw a water pan in here, keep a little bit of moisture inside the cooking chamber. I could tell that the rub has set in nicely, and so this is the point that I'm going to start to spritz my pork butts. I usually do not wrap at 165 like most people. I'll take it a little higher. Uh, 175 180 internal temperature with a really nice bark on before I wrap. All right, so we're a little over three hours in on this cook. Smoker's still sitting at a nice 250 across the board. We'll see how we're looking. Other thing I'm going to do is just rotate this too. The reason for the rotation, I just don't want one side to get blasted by the firebox the entire cook. Uh, the spritz that I have here is just 50-50 uh, apple cider vinegar and uh, warm water. It's a very simple cook. It's just time consuming. The only thing to do now is to manage the fire and spritz that pork butt every 45 minutes or so until it's time to wrap. All right, it's a little after midnight here. We're sitting at 175 internal. We got some nice bark on this, so we're going to wrap. So I got two sheets of aluminum foil out here, heavy duty. Um, so what I do is I just spray top layer 
I'm going to take this out. I'm going to use a spatula just to be careful. I don't want this fork butt to fall apart. So just be careful taking it off the smoker. I hit it again with the spritz. Again, this is just apple cider vinegar and water. I'm just going to wrap it up tight. I'm going to throw this back on the smoker until we hit about 200 degrees internal. So when this hits uh, 200 degrees, you're probably not going to see me, but I'll check in tomorrow. My plan, once this hits 200, I'm going to let it come back down to about 150-ish degrees internal, and I'm going to try holding in my oven overnight. I've never tried that before. My oven goes down to 170 degrees. Obviously, with a, a warmer holding oven, you're looking for 150, 140, um, but we're going to try 170. We'll check back tomorrow morning. And we'll see how this four shoulder comes out. The total time of this rest in my oven at 170 was 12 hours. The only thing I did that I forgot to record was at about six hours and 10 hours, I ladled some of the juices that are in the bottom of the foil pan right on top of the bark just to keep that nice and moist. This thing is looking real good and smelling absolutely incredible. Time to go in for that bone pull, and the whole thing is just falling right apart. Good clean bone pull. The meat is still nice and warm. You can see it's steaming here, and shreds like butter. So the verdict is 170 degrees in the oven for 12 hours. Works absolutely fine. The pork's not overcooked at all. It's still got a lot of moisture in it. It's definitely a little bit softer than a traditional pulled pork that's resting for two or three hours. But that's not something your guests are going to notice or that's going to change the flavor of this pork, in my opinion. This drizzle right here is a chud hack. It's the first time I tried it. Apple cider vinegar with a little bit of hot sauce mixed into the shredded pork. I'll be doing this from now on for all of my pork butts. The flavor was absolutely incredible, not overpowering. You add just a little bit. That little bit of flavor with the smokiness of the pork, you cannot miss. I hope this video was useful, and if you ever want to get a little bit of sleep, or if you're in a pinch and you're not serving your food for a little bit, try your oven. If it doesn't go lower than 170, don't worry. Give it a shot.